here it is. New Year's Eve. Hour into um, the New Year's Eve. <clears throat> I was thinking about the shoes that we wear. Uh, Forrest Gump said, his mama told him, says, I can, you can always tell a lot about a person by the shoes they wear. And uh, we, we sing a song talking about there is a man in sandals. Of course, it's talking about Jesus and uh, where he walked. Jesus walked every place that he went, so he had to have some shoes that were uh, pretty well put together. And in those days, traditional sandals was the kind of shoes that people wore <coughs> in that part of the country. And I'm guessing that they were laced up. They had laces that came across the top of the feet to hold them on, and it was a pretty warm climate. So I can imagine that people never really had any other kind of shoe but that. <coughs> you know, when I wear a shoe, so it's a uh, work shoe. And uh, I wear a lot of those kind of shoe, and because I work, and uh, the place that I go, pretty much everybody wears those kind of shoe. And uh, you, you go to a different building, you go out of that building, go down the street into the hospital. Nurses have on like a white, low tennis shoe thick bottom. I remember Forrest Gump sitting there talking to this lady that looked like she was a nurse. And he says, Mama says you can always tell a lot about a person by the shoes they wear. He looks down at that lady and says, them shoes looks comfortable. She goes, my feet are killing me. <laughs> it's funny. <clears throat> but you go into that building and they all got that kind of shoe. You go down the street to another building and you go into an office and everybody's wearing patent leather, shiny shoes. And uh, you go out of that building down the street into a jailhouse and uh, people wearing sandals again, you know. <laughs> So you can tell a lot about uh, a person by the shoe they wear. I remember when I was in jail, man, they, you know, they gave you sandals to wear. And they, you, you're not going to do too much in a sandal, you know. I remember uh, telling this guy that <coughs> came to stay with us back when we were younger. I says, get up in the morning. I says, we're going to go and look for a job. Next morning came, he got up, put on his sandals and his shorts. <laughs> I should have taken him later on. I knew, I found out I should have taken him on right down and let, let him uh, join in with the people he fitted in with, you know. But a person wears work shoes. You know, I wouldn't have a lot of trouble finding somebody to bless, you know. Yeah, I'm cutting myself all off in the middle of sentences here, but <laughs> I think it's three things at once. If I wouldn't find somebody to bless, I would want somebody to get the most out of what I would give them, you know. If I'm going to give a guy $500,000 and I want to find who to give it to, to and go by sight alone and give just walk up and give it to a stranger and I'm going to look at the way that he's dressed, you know. Now look, if you, if you get a guy that is 
suit and a tie. I found out, you know, a lot of those guys you can't trust with suit and ties. Years ago, yeah, in the 1930s and 40s and 50s, you could, but today, it's hard to find a guy with a suit and tie you can trust anymore, you know? Uh, a fellow wearing a sports coat, he got on a nice pair of slacks, and um, <clears throat> he's just moseying around, not doing too much. That's kind of a guy that. You, you know, he's he's kind of self-centered, and uh, I, I tell you the truth, man, the fella I would be looking for is probably dressed like me. You know, he don't dress too fancy. He wears a work shoe, and he's got callous hands. <laughs> you know, this fellow on the Facebook, he writing me stuff and wanting me to help him out with money and stuff like that. And, and uh, send him pictures of working there. He sent me this picture. He is dressed kind of, you know, sports coat type, type of guy. And he was so called helping. And he was over there around a bunch of other people that was sweating bullets, you know. I mean, they had stuff under their arms and their sh sweat here. And he looked like he was fresh as a day. He just just stepped out of a shower or something just got dressed <laughs> stepped up i wrote back and told him i says where's the sweat <laughs> you know <laughs> and uh he did uh, yeah he was kind of dumbfounded but they really really don't get too involved in work when you're that kind of a person you want to you just want to get the prestige and I wouldn't you know I'd be looking for a fella who had some real sweat on him if I was gonna try to bless somebody because that way I would know that what I gave him would be put to good use now yeah and of course you got you got those who work just as hard being bad as others do work hard at being good I know that so you got to be careful with that but Jesus was the kind of person if you look at his shoes uh, you'd, you'd find that uh, his shoes was well worn. He's the kind of person that uh, had a lot of good stuff, had a lot of travel. Uh, his clothes, you know, even in, in his day, his clothes match his shoes, just like mine do. My clothes, I wear blue jeans, see? <laughs> I got blue jeans on. And Joe Boxer socks. I mean, I got a heavy-duty sock there, man, because I wear a heavy-duty shoe. One of these days, I'll put on a video called "The Socks You Wear." <laughs> so, alrighty. But anyways, you know, God bless. Join me again tomorrow, uh, New Year's Day, with a, another great subject right here across in the middle ministry. God bless you.